If you are just starting out in the sciences, you'll soon notice that the cell is the fundamental concept at the core of life science. This video will be a general overview of the cell concept, and I won't get too technical, I promise. Starting off, the cell is the most fundamental unit which can carry out all activities needed for life. If you break down the components that make up any living thing, you end up with the cell. The cell is a little machine, and in some cases, little animals and plants. They can specialize their chemistries and bodies and work together to create complex bodies. Secondly, all macroscopic activities are dependent on complex systems of cellular activity. Now, what does that really mean? Um, just take a few seconds and take a look at your hand. Go ahead, I'll wait. What probably comes to mind is what does this have to do with the cell? Well, right now a form of radiation, light, is bouncing off your hand and flooding into your eyes. Vibrations in the air are pounding against your ears. You have cells that can read these energies. They convert them into electric signals, which get sent to your brain. Your brain cells can then convert these signals into an experience. You interpret these signals as the sight of your hand and the sound of my voice. And if that doesn't just blow your mind, uh, you might be a robot. The next point is, cellular activities are dependent on complex systems of nucleic activity. So cells know what to do and how to specialize by reading a copy of a manual. A long string of information and instructions called DNA. Cells pass on this DNA to the next generation, and this is why you look similar to your siblings and your parents. This manual has instructions on everything, from which chemicals to make in different conditions, when to divide, or even when to self-destruct. As you can see in this picture here, you have a cell which reproduces its DNA, arranges it, finally divides here, and then you have two identical cells. And they're all able to do that by the machines that are coded by the DNA. And lastly, there are two main types of cells you have prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. The difference is that eukes have nukes. Eukaryotic cells do, n that do have a nucleus and prokaryotic cells do not. And you can see here in a prokaryotic cell versus a eukaryotic cell that the nucleus here is very very pronounced and easily recognizable. So these types of cells are much much smaller than a eukaryotic cell most of which are single-celled animals. They are very diverse and live pretty much everywhere around you, even in you. So this sums up the main points of the cell concept. If you found this presentation helpful, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so you can keep a lookout for future videos.